Santa's Quarantine Corner. Good morning, Thorpe Cardinals. Welcome to another episode of Mr. Foster's Quarantine Corner. Today is Friday, April 17th. I have a few announcements for you. First off, yesterday, Governor Evers extended the Safer at Home order through May and unfortunately said that all schools will remain to be closed throughout the school year. Uh, so we will continue to do our distance learning. Um, second announcement, starting next Wednesday, our food service ladies will be switching to service once a week. Instead of picking up food every day, you can go on Wednesdays and receive seven breakfasts and seven lunches for each child in your home. Milk will still be provided and the delivery locations and times will still be the same. Um, so this change will help to protect our food service workers and will provide more food to families in need. Uh, shout out, by the way, to Bev Candy and the lunch ladies who are doing a tremendous job and are on the front lines providing a very essential service to all the families in our school district. Um, again, this change starts next Wednesday. So next Monday and Tuesday will remain the same, where you can go and pick up that day's breakfast and lunch. Um, if you have any questions about it, please contact food service, all one word, food service, at thorpe.k12.wi.us. Um, I'd also like to express my gratitude to Grandma Sill, who is an avid fan of the show. Uh, she nominated us for the Channel 13 Sunshine Award, uh, and I'd like to tell all of you that it is Brittany's, or Mrs. Foster's, and my absolute pleasure to do this show for you. Uh, the goal is to spread a little bit of fun and a little bit of kindness, and to help everybody get through this time that's been so difficult for all of us, especially for you students. Um, you guys have it the hardest, uh, and I want you to know that we really miss you, we love you, we can't wait to see you again. Okay? Uh, the joke of the day is from Megan S. in second grade. She asks, how do you get a band to stand up? Take away their chairs. That was a very good one, Megan, and a real knee slapper. Uh, the fun fact of the day is from Mrs. Malaren. She's going to be sharing another brain buster with us. Hi, I'm gonna teach you a new word today, observation. Observation is information that scientists use to learn about the world around them. They gather this information through their senses, sight, touch, taste, smell, and hear. I have an object here and I want you to just make some observations. Take some time to just think about it in your head or write a few things down. Now, I'm going to do something to the object and I want you to continue to make observations. Okay, did you make some observations about our object? Hey mom, can I have a snack? Sure, what were you thinking? This. <laughs> no. You may have thought you were making observations, but in reality, you made some inferences. An inference is a conclusion you make based on observations and reasoning. So here are some of the observations you might have made. It was white, it was a cylinder, it has a green base and a thin extension at the top. Your inferences were, it's a candle and it has a wick. I hope this helped you to understand the difference between observation and inference. Thank you so much, Mrs. Milliron. Now, you may have made the inference that this is a real worm, but I can guarantee you that they are not. <laughs> They're actually candy. Now, on today's episode, Mrs. Jocks is back. with another story for all of us.
everybody. Welcome to Pajama Jam again. So today I have the book called Bear Feels Scared. I love these bear books. They're great. Even Mrs. Hauser's read a few of these. So let's read this book. And this book we love so much it's kind of falling apart. So let's hope the pages don't fall off. Bear Feels Scared. In the deep dark woods by the strawberry veil, a big bear lumbers down a small crooked trail. Bear's tummy growls as he looks for a snack, but it's cold, cold, cold. So the bear turns back. He's not home yet when the sun starts to set and the bear feels scared. Bear shakes and he shivers as a storm starts to howl. Bear mutters, what is that? Are there spooks on the prowl? The path gets dimmer and the sky growls, grows gray. Bear looks to and fro, but he can't find his way. He huddles by a tree and he wails, poor me. And Bear feels scared. Meanwhile, back in the warm, cozy lair, friends start to worry for their poor lost bear. It's late, Squeak Moss squeaks, and our bear doesn't roam. There's a storm, cries Hare. He should, should a bear be home? Wren tweets from his perch, we must go search. What if bear feels scared? The friends bundle up and begin to prepare. They form a search party for their lost friend Bear. But Bear is all alone and he sheds big tears. There's a noise in the forest and he feels big fears. Bear trembles in the wind. How he longs for his friend and the bear feels scared. Badger lights up a lamp and he shouts, let's go. All the birds search high while the rest search low. With a flounce and a flutter, they set off together. They trudge down the trail through the wild, wet weather. They call, "Who oh, bear, are you there? Are you there? And the bear feels scared. But he perks up his ears. Is that Mole calling out? And is that Hare's voice? Does Bear hear him shout? Wren, Owl, and Raven all squawk from the sky. It is Bear, he is there. And they sigh, big sighs. By the tree waits Bear 10 feet from his lair and the bear looks scared. With a flap and a flurry, all the friends gather near. They give him bear hugs. They calm his bear fears. Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Cuddled up tight, they snore through the night and the bear feels safe. So remember, if there's a time when you're not feeling safe, just cuddle up with your family and friends and just know that everything will be okay. All right, that's all for Pajama Jam. See you later, guys. Thank you so much, Mrs. Jocks, for sharing that lovely story with us. That wraps it up for today's episode, Cardinals. Please remember, to stay safe, stay sanitized, and to stay smart. Mr. Foster's Quarantine Corner.